Christmas without a bed or pillow. She spent another day searching for something to eat, to feed her hungry children and the children that she keeps. Beaten and abandoned by the ones she loves, she wonders if the day will come when there will be enough. She doesn't want to be carried. She needs to be lifted up. She'll pay whatever price she has to pay to prove to those she cares about that God will make a way. God. They used to pick food from the rubbish pit and they eat. The children used to ask me for food. When I move around to see my, my friends, they used to give me food and I bring for my children. Uh, time reached when I was fed up, uh, fed up of the world. I was ready to die with my children. I knew I had kept some gasoline somewhere. I poured it around the doorway. I wanted to pray, but I could not. I was just crying. When that, when that child fell asleep and all, all of them were sleeping, I got hold of a matchbox. I said only one word. I said God. But by the time I knew it, it was it was morning. The women leader in Injeru Nile phoned me. She asked me what is the problem. That's when God used that lady. 
and brought me to Miss Mary to join God's grace. I started working. Right now I can feed my family. I can clothe them. They go to school. I pay school fees in installments, but they are studying. They are studying right now. I'm also paying, paying rent for my house. The, the job I'm doing, I go around looking for clothes, old clothes. I go around looking for material. I cut those material into pieces. I rented a sewing machine. I, 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 I saw them. I, I taught my child, my firstborn, to tail. Now we are sewing together. After making those clothes, we, we move around and sell them. Mm -hmm.